Dwayne The Rock Johnson's massive shoulders, wide chest, and protruding muscles have left spectators in awe since they first saw him in the wrestling arena. Johnson has an amazing physique that allows him to now rule movies. But to keep it, a lot of effort is needed, which calls for a lot of calories and protein. Johnson's diet, however far from normal, does allow him to develop the kind of physique that begs for admiration. When you realize how much food The Rock consumes each day, you'll be astounded. American professional wrestler and actor Dwayne Johnson, also known by the ring moniker The Rock, was born in Hayward, California on May 2, 1972. His charm and athleticism helped him succeed in all of his professions. Johnson comes from a wrestling background. High Chief Peter Maivia, his maternal grandpa, first entered the professional world in the 1960s and 70s. When George Foreman was training for the Rumble in the Jungle with Muhammad Ali in 1974, Johnson's father, Soul Man Rocky Johnson, sparred with him. Rocky Johnson also boxed and competed on the American regional wrestling circuit. However, the younger Johnson first chose the mat over the gridiron. He participated on the University of Miami football team that won the 1991 NCAA championship and was a standout high school athlete, Bachelor of General Studies, 1995. His career in the Canadian Football League was cut short by injury, so he resorted to wrestling. The Rock established a lucrative acting career outside of the wrestling arena by ditching the stage name Soul Man and going by Dwayne Johnson. He originally gained widespread recognition in 2001's The Mummy Returns as the dynamic villain Scorpion King. Yes, it's the movie with the giant centaur-like arachnid, but instead of the body of a horse, you get eight weird-looking legs. Terrifying. The Scorpion King the next year saw Johnson reprise this part. He tried his hand at comedy by making appearances in the films The Game Plan (2007) and Be Cool (2005) starring John Travolta and Uma Thurman. Johnson and his longtime partner, singer-slash-music producer Lauren Hashian, got married in August 2019. Daughters Jasmine Leah, born December 2015, and Tiana Gia, born April 2018, were born to the couple. From his prior union, Johnson also has a daughter named Simone Alexandra. He married Danny Garcia, his high school love, in 1997 and the two parted ways 10 years later. However, she still acts as his manager. That's enough therapy sessions for pouring out this guy's past. Let's get into his eating mechanics. Over the past 30 years, Dwayne Johnson, a legendary member of the WWE, has experienced an amazing bodily metamorphosis. When compared to his earliest days in WWE as a scrawny boy, the wrestling legend's hulking current frame is hardly recognizable. His dedication to the gym remains, despite his movie career continuing to blossom. I kid you not, the transformation is mind-blowing. His strict daily routine and workout has him built like a large and strong mini Everest. Apparently, it has also left him with an equal or maybe oversized appetite. The Rock eats a lot of food to sustain his body's needs. He sticks to a pretty strict diet most days, but he does indulge in his favorite foods from time to time. Because he's so active, most days The Rock will eat over 5,000 calories. To put this into perspective, that's about twice the number of calories recommended for most men his age. For six days a week, The Rock sticks to a very strict diet. He uses his rest day as a day for cheat meals, which he believes allows flexibility and prevents him from feeling deprived. According to his Instagram and online interviews, on an average day, the Rock will eat five to seven high-protein meals, with cod, chicken, steak, eggs, and protein powder as his main protein sources. He also eats plenty of complex carbohydrates, with rice, sweet potato, oatmeal, and baked potatoes being some of his favorite choices. For fat, he adds lots of healthy fats from peanut butter, eggs, coconut oil, and fish oil supplements. He adds at least a cup of vegetables to the meal, which provides a good amount of fiber, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. The Rock gets the bulk of his calories throughout the day from protein and carbohydrates and a moderate amount of fat. His diet is balanced with lots of vegetables, protein, and complex carbohydrates. Ever since audiences first met Dwayne The Rock Johnson in the wrestling ring, 
they've been impressed with his wide chest, broad shoulders, and bulging muscles. Johnson has an incredible physique that's now able to dominate movies, but it requires a lot of hard work to maintain, and that means tons of calories. While his diet is far from average, it does allow Johnson to build the kind of body that demands respect. You'll be amazed when you see the surprising amounts of food that The Rock eats every day. Johnson has always been very open about the diet he follows, and for most people, it's an incredible amount of food. While he was preparing for the role of Hercules in 2013, Johnson posted a sample diet to his Twitter account. His example included an estimated 5,470 calories. Although he provided this sample many years ago, the majority of sources show he continues to eat in a substantially similar manner now. Johnson gets the majority of his calories from simple carbohydrates, like white rice or potatoes, and lean proteins like fish and eggs. Except for Johnson, few of us consume substantial amounts of fish. Every day, he consumes roughly 36 ounces of fish. Just the cod has roughly 1,000 calories. Additionally, he consumes roughly a dozen egg whites daily. This includes a white omelet with 10 eggs that he enjoys eating as a way to end the day. He must have a very tight grocery budget, therefore, it's a good thing he's a huge name in Hollywood. While he eats almost no sugar in his diet, Johnson isn't afraid of simple carbs. He loves white rice and eats about five cups of it a day. All those easily digestible carbs supply him with plenty of energy to keep up with his intense workouts. Although Johnson follows a strict diet, he does allow himself a cheat day, usually while watching Netflix, like the rest of us. And when he has a cheat day, he really goes all out. Since Johnson has a habit of sharing his cheat meals on Instagram, we know what he eats on those days. One of his favorite cheat meals is chocolate chip pancakes, but not just one or two. Johnson eats a huge stack of thick pancakes. There has to be at least 10 in the photo he posted. And he includes all the fixings, like real maple syrup and whipped cream. A brownie sheet or 10 cookies make up another indulgent dinner. Johnson truly goes all out on his cheat days, but the fact that he will go back to his regular high-protein, no-sugar diet the next day makes it work for his lifestyle. For an average person, the number of calories and food Dwayne eats weekly is enough to feed that individual for approximately a month while the excessive and strict workout routines are enough to squeeze the life out of that poor individual. Johnson eats a huge amount of food, but he also has a massive amount of muscle on his body, and muscle burns more calories than fat, about 5.5 times more. He needs a lot of calories for more reasons than just his stature. Johnson works out hard numerous times throughout the day to keep all that muscle. He can complete his workouts thanks to all the simple carbohydrates in his diet. Without a high-calorie diet, Johnson would definitely lose too much weight and be unable to add the enormous amount of muscle that he possesses to his body. Johnson was able to consume more food than the majority of individuals. Johnson requires that much food, though, because of the way he lives. Webster, a man interviewed by the blog 538, immersed himself in The Rock's diet, and here's what he has to say about it. The plan is, surprisingly, not for everyone. You could definitely not go from couch potato to doing this plan, Webster told me. You would probably kill yourself. I've spent the last couple of years getting into shape. That dude works really, really hard, he said about The Rock. This is what this guy does. This is his livelihood. The fact that he looks like this and trains like this every day of his life while making his movies, being on set for 14 hours, that kind of discipline to me is absolutely amazing. To me, this is less about can I look like him and more about can I work as hard as this dude. In the end, I felt terrible that our interview took time away from Webster that he could otherwise have spent preparing COD. Dwayne Johnson is incredible, and even the best of us can manage to be him for only a month.